All right, so this video is going to be mainly about uh, programming, you know, trap style hi hats in MPC software. You know, let's say you don't have your controller with you, you're on your laptop, or you just prefer working in the software. This is how you do it. So um, I'm going to go to my hi hats here. Uh, hi hats closed. Let's go with this one. I usually like to keep my hi-hats and snares on this side and kicks and 808s and stuff on this side. It makes it easier, you know, when I play on the pad. So let's just get a, a snare and a kick just. And um, for those who don't know, uh, over here, you can change it to these li this little pad icon. And you can actually play it on your um, computer keyboard. And it, if you change it to the, the keyboard, uh, you can play, you know, like a piano on your keyboard. Like it, it changes how the notes are placed. But to do that, obviously, you would have to be on a um, you know, key group program. But yeah, we're gonna go back here. Uh, let's load up a little snare. Okay, it didn't work, so I gotta go back to the pads. All right, so let's do the hi hat now. So, you know, I can. Uh, I'm gonna stay in this mode. I'm just gonna make sure you can you can press whatever pad you want to work on. So we're on on a hi hat right now, and our tempo is gonna be. Let's do like a average trap tempo, like 140. And um, so yeah, if you don't wanna if you don't wanna record it like this, if you wanna actually use the pen, um, you control uh, the grid over here. So at a half tempo, like mo you know between like one thirty and one eighty or whatever, uh, if you wanna get like a regular straight hi hat, it's an eight, and you just change um, to the pen, and you can just draw it like this. So let's see how I'm gonna press command and the arrows to like zoom in and out so I can see everything. Let's turn it down a little bit. So I just want to turn down the, the pad, not the whole program. So you see here it says program, and here you got the pad A4. So Alright, so now we got that foundation. So all you gotta do now is kind of like listen and see where you wanna make the hi-hat rolls at. Let me get a clap too. I'm 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 hearing a clap in this beat. Uh, whatever. All right. So, uh, if you're a beginner, it's probably easier if you put out the clap first. So. So you know, once once you find the first one, it's usually at one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So it's always at the three when you're at in this um, you know double tempo and you got a eighth hi hat going. Actually, no, it will be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. It will be on five, but if you count it slower. So let's say uh, if you listen to the metronome. Uh, let's turn the metronome on. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So if you got the metronome going, it should be on three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. So let's get back to the hi hat. Let's zoom in a little bit. So now you can listen to. 
So right here, I want to do something. So I can just double click that with the pen tool selected. And let's zoom in a little bit more. So you see there's no grid lines here, but if I change this, you're going to see more, more grid lines. So now when I paint, not, not paint, but when I draw, it's going to And here I want like a really fast one. So all you gotta do is like play around with these settings and see which one does what. Like the bigger the number, the faster it's gonna be. And the T stands for triplet. So it has a slightly different rhythm and feel to it than, than the ones over here. So right now, let me do like a 32. And, you know, if you want, let's get rid of all of these. And we go to, I think this is definitely a triplet. I think it's eight. So let's see. You know, if you want to change this loop too, if you're only working on the last bar, you can change this blue thing. So, yeah. And on the last one, I want to speed it up a little bit again. So let, let's just randomly try something. Um, see how long we've been going. Okay, six minutes. Uh, on the last one, I want to... Um, uh, yeah, I want to speed it up. So let's try like something really fast, like a 32. Uh, let's let's see how the whole loop sounds. Yeah, so that's pretty simple. And of course, you can do the same thing in this view. The only, you know, the only difference is everything would be down here instead, depending on what track you select over here. So another thing, um, you know, as any software, there's different ways you can pretty much do everything. So uh, I'm gonna show you one way if you really wanna mess with different pitches on a hi-hat. Uh, one more thing before we finish though, is down here, velocity can be cool to, um, you know, change velocity a little bit sometimes so it doesn't sound so, you know, static. Uh, you can actually create kind of like swing. Uh, let's see if we use the pen, if we can actually draw this. Yeah, so that's that's a lot simpler. Like if you're in the pen tool here, you can you can just like draw like um, stuff. So this one goes down a little bit, and then maybe go up one. Sounds a little bit more human, even though it's not supposed to sound like a human playing a drum kit. It still, you know, gives it a little bit more variation. So in a different way, if you want to play, play around with different pitches, there's, there's a few ways you can do it. Um, obviously, if you were back in this mode and we, we highlight this, we can go to 16 level and choose uh, velocity. So now I can play, you know, on my pads or on my keyboard. It goes from, you know, the loudest and the lowest. So if you have this feature on and you play it, you can um, you can achieve that same thing there. But if you wanna uh, play it on different notes uh, you want to go to tune and 
what happens here is okay i gotta be on the high okay gotta make sure we're on the hi-hat before we switch to 16 level so now this one is really really high pitch so So that's the way you can play different pitches, but I think if you want to draw stuff kind of like how people do it in FL Studio, I think it's a lot better to just create um, just create a new track, uh, come here, create a new track, you can name it, uh, you can name it just Hi-Hat, and um, we're going to go do a key group, and now we're going to go to, when, when we're in this view, there's different ways to do it always, but we're going to go to wave. Uh, let's not. Um, let's see what's going on. Okay, let's go to program mode. Oh, no, sorry. We not, I, pl I put it on plugin. We got to be in key group. Uh, so when I'm here, key group. Uh, wave and we can come here to sample and I can choose the hi-hat so now uh, it's gonna be spread across the keys like every single key so when we go back to grid now uh, we can do the same thing we can uh, set it to 8 uh, so let's mute this now and we can just draw it the same way we did in the drum program. And, you know, you can... You know, you can find a... So, like, right here, like, let's say we want to go down pretty low on that one. So... Now let's change it to 16 triples. See how that sounds? And we can also go to, um, I will save that for another time. Here, I want something like higher and faster. Um, Let's do 64 and like just do a, like a couple. Right here, let's put the let's put the eight. No, let's put the. Yeah, let's put the eight triplets. Yep. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of different things you can do, but I want to, I don't want to make this video too long. So we're going to, going to cut it right there. And in the second video, I'm going to show you more about panning left and right. And, uh, a little bit more with playing with velocities and different rhythms and stuff. Let, let's just, just before we finish this, let's just put a little kick to it and see, see how it sounds. So on this one, I'm just going to get rid of all of these by highlighting this and pressing delete. And let's go back to this track and just make it simple. Erase the second half. Just highlight all this. Um, go over here until you get the little white arrow. Hold option. Get the plus sign and just copy it. Okay, just one thing I want to change here. Um, let's go, let's try like uh, 16. Gotta get, get the pen. 
No, definitely not 16. Uh, maybe, maybe 32. So let's get rid of all this. And see how that sounds. All right, and now we can just add like a kick to that. And of course you can draw the kick too. I'm just gonna go ahead and play it. And it's really, really hard with this um, recording program because it gets very, uh, get, a, get a lot of latency, but let's do it anyway. Okay, so I had it on 32, so it's not quantized perfectly because I was I was so late, so much latency. So now it's probably good. I usually put it back when I, when I do kicks and snares. I usually put it back to uh, 16. And of course, let's let's add a little 808 to make it sound more complete.